join the circus because it's like being your lifelong dream. When we've been brought up into it, but just because you've been brought up into it doesn't mean you'll stay with it. You either love it or you don't love it. You've got to love it to be on it all the time. to school in the week and then it's off to the circus at the weekend and in the holidays it gets a bit much sometimes though especially in the winter when I'm working and the show's here trying to fit my homework in and also at the weekends I've got lots of homework I get a bit stressed but it's worth it <laughs> the circus year starts late February early March we start our show here at the farm and then it runs all season and then we have a couple of weeks off and then we do a big Christmas circus this year we're doing one at Wembley there's a lot going on. Jeremy Beadle's working. We'll all be very busy. <laughs> what, I, what I'd like to do this morning is do the start. Yeah. This one? Yeah. No, because we've done all that. That was yeah. yesterday. That was yesterday. That, no, that, yeah. I'm working with Jeremy Beadle. He's very good fun to work with. He um, makes us laugh all the time. He's messing about all the time, just like it is on the TV. And he makes the rehearsals a lot better, because it's not boring and quiet. He keeps the jokes running. <laughs> Polly, how lovely to see you sober. <laughs> <laughs> well, showbiz your love? It is indeed. It can't be, not this time of the morning. Oh, uh, well, it is, as long as you've got your cup of coffee. Can I have a slurp? Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. It doesn't make me nervous working with him because I know him now as a person, not as someone who you just see on TV. <laughs> <laughs> I think you are a big boy. You are a big boy. To be truthful, I haven't encouraged any of my kids to go in the circus. Once they actually start, like, Sir and April with the riding and April with the juggling, I do encourage them. I'm still not keen on the trapeze. Still not keen on it. My mother's background is circus. She, was, she grew up in the circus and all her background is circus. It's a Fawcett family, they run back about 200 years. Are you ready, Paul? Yeah. Hi. What are you doing now? I'm going to My dad always loved the circus. Well, when he was 15, he ran away from home to join a circus and he stayed there for about a week. And then they sent him back home, obviously. And he was going to finish school, but he didn't finish school and he joined and left the circus and he started from there. Then he met my mum, they got a small show. Then it just expanded and, and expanded and that's what he's got now. I've got two sisters, Sarah, who's 21, and April, who's 18. They're both bareback riders. And I've also got a little brother, Jerry, he's 10. He's, he helps in the ring and he used to help with the elephants, but he doesn't actually do an act of his own yet. It's very important that you actually try and address people. You haven't got mine on there. Jerry, I don't But I'd love one of my children to not be in the circus. I know that sounds stupid when I run away to join the circus, but I really genuinely would like one of them to be in a totally different business and visit the circus, always be with the family probably, but you know, I think now it looks like the three daughters are totally committed, you know, but I really would like one of them to be in another business. The Rolling Globes we used to do together. I was about, what, four? Something like that, one or another. Yeah, well, four. Actually, I used to do a lot of posing. These used to do most of the work. Say that again. Who you taught them? Well, well, tell them what else you used to do in it. They also used to go up big ramps, and April used to stand on Sarah's shoulders, top of one globe. And you used to do the splits on the frame? Oh, yes, and I used to do the splits on the frame. And she used to stand in the middle of a seesaw, I used to tip it, and that was it. That was it. That was all yeah. you used to do. Mm. I think we all get on <laughs> quite well, actually. Yeah, we do, because we don't see each other that much anyway. It's you all right. and Sarah do, it's just me. Yeah, well, me and Sarah together all year, and Polly comes down on the holidays. Um, and like Christmas together, but apart from that, we're not really together. That's it. What do you have arguments? The ring, I think, most of the time. Is Things it? we do in the ring, 
nicking each other's jeans, <laughs> which is a favourite pastime of all of us. Each other's jumper with boots, that sort of thing. Have you got my boots on? <laughs> Right. Fat. Now, you know what we're going to do at the end here, oh, do you? Like what I do like is no, people who concentrate. Who yes. Sorry, OK, we're paying you. We are. <laughs> Showbiz is my love. Please pay attention. I mean, let's have a bit of art here, please. Polly, concentrate. Well, I was called Juliet when I was younger. It was just changed and people started calling me Polly and I, then I just got to like it. Yes, I wanted to show you the moves. Most of the time I'm called Juliet in the ring. We've got no musical clowns. What we're going to do is we're going to get some um, silly instruments. Polly and Julia are going to get the kids out, and then we're going to march them round while they do it. I think we're going to have to have at least three, actually. I'm going to go back on what I originally said. Can we get three? So we've got six. No. More of a... No. Can't you... That's, is that the chorus? Judy? Yeah. I could even drop it all the way round, yeah. look, the back you, as well, couldn't I? You know what I'm like for silver. You could even put a little row of even silver. Yeah. Smaller. Really outline it. Spangle right round there, look mm. lovely. Let me have a look at your turnings. Yeah, you made a good job of those. I've got to pull the pink stitching out. Yeah, you're the getting good, aren't you? Saving your old aunt, you see all this work. We don't push the circus children into doing a particular act. But uh, Polly was always, when my sister and I was practising, always hanging around from the moment she could walk, really, yes. getting hold of the rope and trying to climb it long before she could. And I always remember in the dressing room, putting on the headdresses and bangles, wanting to dress up at a very early age. Yes, you were, you were really quite good from the start, even though I shouldn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> Daring. But it's a wonderful life for them. You know, it's such a free life and outdoor and, and at the end of it all the hard work they're they're making people happy which i think is a lovely thing it's to go with that isn't it you're wearing this for rani aren't you yeah. are you no it's really uncomfortable isn't it i don't know we haven't even got it on yet i don't squash it <laughs> yeah <laughs> I can't get it on me. I don't what it is going to be I We always laugh and joke about no, glamour. Because, like Auntie Julie, she'll come out for a night out and we'll say, oh, look right at you in your glamour. Meaning she's, you know, she's all dressed up, she's got her jewellery on and her makeup done nice and all her hair done. And I, I suppose it's a way of looking nice and attractive. I mean, that's what the circus is about, is glamour. What's that, five minutes? Ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, the one and only Jeremy Beadle! the audience it was very different I was very nervous about that but normally you don't have to communicate with them you've just got to work and smile and look happy Come on. what is your name Ozan. marvelous <laughs> and finally what is your name Caroline yeah. will you please welcome the beautiful Sarah Cottle <laughs> I can see that. At Wembley, I wasn't doing my aerial act because the act I do now, the clown swing, I did it last year, so we didn't want to put the tame act into Wembley twice in a row. Ladies and Brilliant, sensational acts to the world's newest supergroup, the Jerry Cottle Big Band. 
children's band, we used to get the children out of the audience in and like hold their hands to keep them calm because with them being young, they often used to scream for their parents. That was the hardest part, was having them in the back for eight minutes without their parents. You had to keep them talking to them so they wouldn't want their parents. It's like, oh, God, you know, I'm, I'm alone in this big circus ring. <laughs> I was upset to see Wembley finish. It was a lovely Christmas season. All the new artists and everything. Normally you don't get time to know them. So by the time you've got to know them, it's time to leave again. Thank you, Martin. Thank you for coming. Enjoy it. Tell your friends. Say to your dad. I know that you want to do something. It's a big letdown when you have to go back to school. What do you want? It's such a different life. Do you have to go? The teacher will say, Did you have a nice holiday? And you'll say, well, I had a nice time, but I never really had a holiday. I don't really know whether they understand that you've actually yeah, you you've worked every day with like one day off. I suppose it's my choice, though. That's a really nice shot. Those Martin's new tigers. Are they his new ones? Yeah, haven't How's, seen him work though. How are they going? Pretty well. Here. Four of my friends they came to see the show last year, mm. and like, they were so surprised. They said, "Oh, we really enjoyed it," and it was wasn't how we expected at all. And I thought, well, now you've seen it, now you know. It's like they know now. And same with Georgia, the first time she'd come, we wasn't really um, best friends then, and she'd just come for the day. And I didn't really know what she thought of it. I wasn't too sure. But now, I think, well, I think she likes it. I love it. <laughs> well, I've always had this dream. A fairy tale, really. Um, I didn't imagine the hard work that goes on behind it, though. I mean, in between shows, Polly having an absolute panic attack because she's got to change costumes. I never thought, you know, when you sit there and watch it, it's so they're all coming out, but you don't know what's going on behind the scenes, and it. <laughs> It's really frantic. <laughs> Remember that time we tried to climb my rope? In the oh, shed. What, in the shed after David had just been teaching yeah. the skywalk? Oh, it was torture. Oh, I think the attitude towards circus in Britain is going downhill more and more. I think because there is so much entertainment now, it's hard for circus to compete. A long time ago, circus was the entertainment. When the circus was in town, oh, wow, you know, it was something to go out to. But now there's so much with cinema and theatre and different shows. It's very hard nowadays to get your grounds and get the public in, and there's also a lot of animal rights. And the grounds are being banned due to the council because they think we're cruel to our animals, so they won't let us open on the grounds, which we normally would do. I think the people are wrong that think we're cruel to our animals because, well, we look after, well, obviously we look after them, otherwise they wouldn't do half the tricks they do. I don't think it ridicules elephants to, to get up and stand on a tub because it's something that they could do by themselves, not, not deforming them by making them do it or harming them in any way. They don't realise how animals are loved and cared for. I mean, <laughs> Marcel will kill me for saying this, but first thing in the morning you hear Marcel who looks after half the elephants with the radio on full blast, singing to the elephants, you know, and cuddling them and playing with them. You know, it's so lovely to see, like, they're such great friends. <laughs> In my opinion, I would, if someone wanted reassuring about the animals, I'd say the best thing was to come and see for themselves and make their own opinion, which is then fair to us and themselves. Hi, Polly. Hi, Polly. Hi, Polly. Hi, Polly. Hi, Skywalk is the most dangerous act that I've learnt. Card work, right to the top of the tent, about 40 feet. The dangers of doing the Skywalk or any aerial act is you've just got to be in control so you don't... Well, my mum wants me to wear a lunge because it's just... It's not worth it. You've only got to slip that once and... Because if you come down, you could really kill yourself or paralyse yourself. Being at school and then working the act, I mean, your skin gets soft again. I mean, I'm so used to rope burns. <laughs> when you go out, you've got a nice skirt on, and I think, oh, no, I wonder if people look at the scars on my legs. I don't really know whether they think I've been beaten up or what.
About a week after I started doing the cloud swing, I was doing this trick called the upside down crucifix, and I slipped a bit too far. I mean, I wasn't really in any danger because I was still holding on, but it, it shocked me so much when I panicked, and Willie had to stop the cloud swing and let me climb back up again and start the act again. And then for quite a while after that, I was really frightened of doing that trick. Uh, the hardest part of letting an act is having confidence in yourself. You've got to go up there and enjoy yourself rather than worry about each individual trick. I know my dad doesn't like me doing any work. I think it's because he knows it's dangerous. My dad often says to me, well, don't you want to do something else? Or why don't you be a model? Or why don't you do this? And, you know, I feel like saying, why do you say this to me when you know I'm not going to do it? I think the most of it is a big wind-up just to wind me up because he knows it really gets to me. Or he'll say, oh, look at the little schoolgirl, and that drives me really wild. <laughs> I think I'd like her to do her act, but I'd also like her to start to do other things on the other side of the circus and obviously she's been to a good school it would be very nice if she could do some of the office work and some of the administration long term i think she'd probably have the three girls she's got the strongest character for dealing with people and organizing but it's too early yet <laughs> At the moment, there's, there's a, a lot going on at the farm, and the big tent's up, and that's been finished off for the show, which is the show's open on Thursday, so people are sort of having a mad attack for these few last few days. The first day, it's, oh, it's terrible. Just the whole day, you keep on looking at you, watching, and oh no, in, like in two hours, I've got to work in one hour, and. The opening here is, is a, a major thing, you know, you've had like a month off and then all of a sudden you've got to work again for the new season. And thank you. Yeah. The world of sickness! <laughs>
lovely feeling when you're performing. I think it appeals to the audience because it, it seems so dangerous and you're, you, you're saying to them, well, look, I'm risking my life here. And, yeah, and you want to thrill them as well. You don't want them to just sit there and think, oh, that's a pretty act, but it's not dangerous. You want them to think, God, that's dangerous. Exciting. It's such a fulfillment, you know, you're doing it for yourself, really. And, like, there's so many people just watching you. And it's, it's not even like boasting, it's just such a nice feeling because you've learned something to show other people. I just enjoy the show so much. I've, I've grown up there and it's, I just feel that's where I belong.